University of Dhaka is like a like mother. Gave us everything. Good education, excellent discipline, culture and enrichment. I had the very great privilege of studying at the uh, economics department of the University of Dhaka, starting from 1960, taking my honors degree in economics in 1963 and masters in economics in 1964. Thereafter, I had an equal privilege of serving the University of Dhaka as a lecturer in economics, but I must mention three. First of all, Professor Meza Nudul Huda, Emin Huda is, is popularly known as. He was the chairman of economic when I was admitted there in 1960. Fatherly figure, big personality, known uh, for his transparency, uh, efficiency, uh, he's a PhD, he was a PhD from Cornell University, I believe. So he's one, I'll tell you why in a, in a while. Second, uh, I must mention Professor Raza. He was not my direct teacher, he was teacher of the teachers. Raza's uh, reputation is that when he went to London for PhD, his supervisor, Harold Lasky, the number one at that time in the discipline said, Razak, I don't think I can teach you anything. If anything, maybe you can do, so let's quit. So he did not have a PhD, came back. A lot of people asked me, why are you so fond of uh, Professor Razak? He is known as Akosh. I said, look, they say that he doesn't teach, he doesn't write. I said that if you had gone to his office, you'd find, you must have found him on his sofa, lying half straight, but putting one leg over the other. And a lot of big professors of the University of Dhaka sitting on the floor for the privilege of talking to him, from him. So this is Professor Azak, I'm very fond of him. Uh, this brings the other person, a uh, famous historian, Professor Mahmoud Hussain. He was the vice chancellor of the University of Dhaka when I entered as a student, and he was very fond of uh, Mr. Razak. Student politics was at its zenith. Language, culture, independence, and fighting against the very unfair education policy of the government of Pakistan. So uh, two of my friends, one got non-collegiate and another got discollegiate, meaning that they would not be able to take their exams. So uh, Abdul Shakur, famous singer later on, uh, he became discollegiate and there was no way he would take the exam unless he was condoned by the vice chancellor. So some of us went to, uh, we didn't know Professor Mahmoud Hussain before that. We went to him and he actually was at that time visiting the Shahid Mina. So we approached him there, uh, broached the issue, and he, he said, I have to laugh even in this sober, somber place because this is such a small problem. All children commit such mistakes and of course, uh, uh, Abdul Shakur, you will go to my office. I'm giving instruction to my PS. You are a regular student by now. Between the Salimullah Muslim Hall and uh, the then Iqbal Hall. There's a pond on the left-hand side, beautiful. And there was a tree in the corner. I would go there many times, look at the water and look back at SM Hall, where I was the vice president of the students, I was elected vice president of the students union. Uh, so this was a very favorite place. Also, 
on the red day, the last day of our honors and the last day of our masters, practically uh, a lot, I cannot say all, a lot of our batch uh, students, girls and boys, would go there and we will chit chat for the practically half the day. And one of our friends, Mr. Rafil Karim, who was uh, later on became lecturer in geography and joined the civil service of Pakistan. I'll tell you how much you'd go in terms of Sharara at the time of rank. We just threw him into the water. So that, that's all, that's the maximum that we do. Compared to what is happening now, we really shudder. So that was a favorite place. I used to go there a lot. But uh, I should also mention, I started in Dhaka Hall, the only cosmopolitan hall of the University of Dhaka at that time. Well, my subsidiary was mathematics and statistics. So near from there. And again, there's a pond between Dhaka Hall and a fish hall. I would spend a lot of time there with my friends. But within that, there was somebody called Mr. Gulam Mustafa, very bright student. And that batch was once batch senior to me. Uh, star started. One of his classmates was Musabir Chaudhary, Kalina and scholar. Musabir Chaudhary's uh, reputation is like this, that if he had mild fever, he would do some light stuff, calculus. But if he had uh, very severe fe fever, he will sit with the most difficult integral calculus, and that will cure his fever. I mean, so, so we used to spend a lot of time in that, uh, that room in Adda with one year senior, but billion people. I used to learn a lot of, uh, from. University of Dhaka is like, a, like mother. Gave us everything. Good education, excellent discipline, culture and enrichment. As I said, when I was the elected vice president of some hall, there used to be a, a very, very pompous uh, inauguration ceremony, uh, installation ceremony. And we came into power, student union and student league coalition after 10 years at some hall. All these 10 years were very reactionary people. So we uh, organized a, a, a big cultural event, and the Anjana Shah, famous artist of these days, she was four and a half year old, and she agreed to uh, sing for us, uh, we da dance for us at SM Hall. But what I me miss most is the, the, the enlightened, uh, enlightenment that our teachers, and senior students would give us the uh, patriotism that we will have uh, talking to and learning about uh, our uh, great language movement from Professor Muni Chaudhary and others. Uh, but I, I must also mention one other incident that connection. When we were students, there were only 11 full-time professors, 11 professors at the University of Dhaka. And one of them uh, was, by that time, uh, Professor Ayman Huda. There was a nasty incident in the University of Dhaka in the late 50s. We did not start here. And a very fiery, firebrand, left-wing student was Mokam Melha. He stood first in CSS exams also. He stood first in uh, political science honors. But the chair, Mr. Newman, everybody said he was an agent of a Western intelligence agency. He obviously did not like to come and talk. So in the masters, another a reactionary person, but, but very bright indeed, was given first class first. And Mokambal Hawk was relegated to a second class first position. Now there was a great resentment there, great agitation, and it went up to court case. The incident time relating it to, uh, to you now is, in the early 60s, when I was a student of the economics department, Professor Huda was the chair, 
that case was settled in favor of the progressive people in the court of Mr. Justice Asit, Mr. Justice Mahmoud Asit. And there was big celebration and the students caught hold of Professor Newman and was about to throw him into the water and the pond nearby in between economics department and the main gate of the old building. Hearing all this octagon, Professor Eman Huda came out of his room, which was very near, and he realized the gravity of the situation. He just said, hey, me Raki Kocho. You cannot believe. All the students left Mr. Newton, Professor New Newman, and they, they, they fled eventually. So that was the personality of the teachers, neutrality of the teachers, respect of the teacher. I can also remember, I also remember Professor Kazim uh, He used to teach us statistics and he will talk about how sweet Bangla language was and how uh, Professor Shahidullah and he and others, Professor Enamul Haq, vigorously protested like children when the Pakistani junta, including Mr. Fazlur Rahman, uh, not only wanted that uh, uh, Urdu should be the state language of Pakistan only, and that the Bangla should be written in Roman script. So how they would protest, they will tell us and we will enjoy. This was also the time when Ayub Khan's blue white boy, Foreign Minister Manzur Kadir, visited the University of Dhaka. He dared to uh, have a seminar on the Education Commission. Uh, well, I was not so senior, I was only in the veranda. Our seniors who went inside the room, uh, Professor Raman Subhan will tell you all the time, how the students were uh, so articulate, so furious that Mr. Manzur Kadir had to bow down his head and go. So that, those are the days. And I'll just remember one other thing in this connection, great, education movement, 1962. A, a very unfair education policy was imposed on us and the students of the University of Dhaka, irrespective of party, irrespective of gender, they stood up like one person and protested. And I, when I used to go to the procession, uh, I would see uh, Hastat, Mr. Hastat, who was the president of NSF, I would see Shah Abdul Halid, who was the general secretary of the students, Shakti, uh, but uh, of course, along with uh, Shah Mohazam and uh, Shirazul Alam Khan and Fazul Akmoni of Chaturli and uh, the Rashid Khan Menon and Kazi Zafar Ahmad and Farad Ahmad of, of students' union. Nobody would, would oppose this. So ultimately, on 17th of September, 1962, Pakistanis had to abandon the education policy, and lo and behold, those of our student uh, classmates who were in the past stream, they were studying in, in third year, and there was no more third year. So they all became uh, graduates overnight because the two-year degree program was extra. So those are the days, glorious days in the University of Dhaka that we, we miss, we enjoy, and we recall, 11th September, 1964. I was uh, already uh, the vice president of, uh, the, of the SM Hall Union and Rashad Kanwar, my good friend, decided to stay the night with us in our room. I think three or four of us spent the whole night in, in gap shopping. But when he was go, going out, the, the reaction is NSF chapter 50 click just got hold of him and gave him a severe beating. What is his fault? They said he had lowered the portrait of Muhammad Ali Jinnah, whom they would of course uh, worship uh, like, uh, like a god. So, but this was totally totally uh, false. 
allegation. So this was very, very painful. This was the, he was the vice president of Daksu at that time, back in resistance of students' union. And Monthia Chaudhary was a general student. So this is a very, very sad anecdote that I remember. The other one, of course, is accidental, as I said. Uh, 1964 saw the uh, introduction of TV in Pakistan, television, black and white, not, not, not the other day, 1964, a long time ago. So I think they got 21 sets for East Pakistan. And uh, for whatever reason, the, uh, they, did choose, they had chosen a Samha as one of them. And I was asked to go to the large Shahib's office, uh, Monam Khan's office, and get the set, and I got it. And students thought that it was my efficiency that uh, brought me the TV set. Absolutely no. So this was that. But finally, in this series, I must say, uh, the other, very painful for me, uh, and people should take note of this. When I, uh, as a student of economics, senior student, uh, we organized a exhibition depicting the disparity in economic disparity between Pakistan and East Pakistan. And it was very popular. I was amongst the uh, major uh, organizers. Then when I became the vice president, as well as I said, uh, in the joint ticket of Students' Union and Students' League, these were the nationalist forces and these were the enemies of Pakistan. The moment we get elected, a lot of people take photographs of me. I mean, either to totally unknown uh, and, and bachara type. I did not realize it that uh, why such exposure suddenly. All, the, all of them are intelligence people. Uh, why you Bunen? And when did I realize this? Like other middle class children, I was under very serious pressure from the family to take the civil service ex examination. And I had to take it and I did well. And I got CSP on a merit basis. That required a, to solve a pending issue. What is a pending issue? As a lecturer of the economics department, there was adverse police report that this person is anti-Pakistan. So when I took the exam, we had to take the clearance anyway. So again, Professor uh, Eman Huda, at that time he became the finance minister and leader of the house of the uh, uh, reactionary government, but he was very powerful. So we went to him and he said, relax, do your work. I was getting married, he said, do your work, no problem. So he sorted it out with the authorities, Munam Khan and others. The clearance was the following. Muhammad Farashuddin, this is in 1966. Muhammad Farashuddin will be cleared if he joins the service of the government of Pakistan. He can never be clear if he continues as a teacher of the University of Dhaka. So I hope you realize how fearful they were of the teacher, of how powerful the teachers of the University of Dhaka was at that time. But uh, so I had to write down the dashkot and join the service. But the tragedy is many of my friends and many of my teachers who are alive today, they completely misunderstand me that this fellow was greedy. He joined civil service rather than continuing as a teacher, but I had to do that. 3,700 students did we desire, or that, as the country need so many uh, students studying at the highest seat of learning and learning practically free of course. Because uh, when I was a student, our tuition was baro taka per month. Now it is perhaps 30 taka. But baro taka at that time was three 
US dollars. Now it is 30 US cents. So whether, unless the government decides to make higher education compulsory for everybody and nationalize the uh, tertiary education, they should either do that or we should take proper market price from the students and then spend 50% of it in supporting the meritorious but disadvantaged students of the university. So this is one thing I would have changed. Second, I would certainly bring in the respect, the discipline in the University of Dhaka. And I would perhaps have a hard look at many of the things. I would uh, wish we have the uh, student union elections every year, including Dakshu, and they operate under clear cut agenda. And the agenda will be improvement in education, improvement in vocational education, improvement in discipline, and the election should be held absolutely neutral. And parties can be there, but the unions will be for preparing the students for, so that they can work for leapfrogging the economic growth and social uh, progress of the university. The other thing that I would do is very unpopular. I keep on saying this, but these are very unpopular. But at my age, why should I care anymore? It is not fair that we would have same number of seats, an economics department, physics department, business administration department, and in Sanskrit, Pali, Islamic studies, philosophy, etc. All respect to philosophy and mathematics, and but whether in nation building, they have the same, whether a professor of Pali or Islamic studies, I'll say the other way, whether a, a professor of uh, uh, marketing chain management or a professor of quantum physics should get the same salary as a professor of Sanskrit. That's the question I'm posing. I think this should be looked into very carefully. And as the father of the nation had said, Shobaike Uchoshika Neva Dorkara Chikina Sandoache. Boroncho, Kudroto Kaza Commissioner, Report on Ujay, Ostrom Senipudento Shobaike, Matri Hasha, Ek Muki Shikanebe, Tarpore, Tara Bittimulok Shikai Tolejabe. Amar to the Amar, if my wishes were horses, then I would have introduced vocational education in Bangladesh for 50 million people of the country. There are 50 million people of the country at the age of 15 and 30. And if we could give them vocational education, meaning the empowerment, then including the Komi uh, Madrasa students, I would certainly include them, not by force, but by convincing them. Then they will work and make the investment in Bangladesh at least 100% more productive than now. It is already, we are doing very well and no question. 